While President Obama used his speech at the dedication of the George W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum to push for immigration reform, a federal judge said that his current immigration po policy is probably violating the law. Federal Judge Reed O'Connor said the administration can't refuse to arrest illegal immigrants just because they aren't considered dangerous criminals. Meanwhile, at the Senate hearing on Tuesday, Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano said that she's concerned with the morale of the border agents. So could their low morale have anything to do with the fact that they're not allowed to do their jobs? Joining me now is the president of the National Immigration and Customs Enforcement Council, Chris Crane. Chris, it's a pleasure to have you here, and thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for having us on, Governor. And uh, I want to say, first of all, thank you for all your support for immigration agents. We definitely uh, appreciate it greatly. Well, you guys are on the front lines. You're asked to do a job, which is to protect, uh, you know, the integrity of our law. Your union has now sued the federal government, which in itself is remarkable, because you say you're not allowed to do your jobs. Explain. Well, there's a lot going on. I mean, I think the first thing I have to say is that the American public is being misled by this administration with regard to uh, the interior enforcement of our nation's immigration laws. Our, our ICE agents who work 50 states, Guam and Puerto Rico, we pretty much have our hands completely tied by this president. We're not allowed to arrest almost anyone. It's been a roller coaster for us since 2008 with regard to who we can and cannot arrest. Um, it's just one example. Immigration agents in the United States can no longer enforce illegal entry or visa overstay um, to federal laws. Uh, the two federal laws that, you know, because of those violations, uh, you know, put us in a situation where we have 11 million illegal immigrants in this country right now, we're no longer allowed to enforce those laws. Uh, ICE agents can no longer make street arrests. If we see an illegal alien or someone we suspect to be an illegal alien on the street, if we believe that person to be a gang member or a criminal, we're not permitted to make an arrest of that illegal alien. We're under orders to wait until that person commits a crime, is arrested by another law enforcement agency, and, in the, and is then placed in jail. Chris, you've actually been told, and, and other ICE agents, to not arrest these people, that's an order given from above, and let somebody else arrest them, and you only get involved if another law enforcement agency has first taken action? Is that what I'm hearing that's you say? That's correct. That's, that's absolutely correct. That's preposterous. Uh, Unbelievable. I couldn't, I couldn't absolutely. Um, and it gets worse from there, Governor. So now we're restricted to enforcing our nation laws inside of jails and prisons. As an ICE agent, going into a jail, it's not enough to be in the United States illegally, you know, once we encounter one of these individuals. They also have to have been convicted of three or more crimes for the immigration agent to make an arrest of this illegal alien. Uh, you know, the president, of course, has also established his own DREAM Act, which did not pass Congress. Uh, so when we go into these jails, we apply this DREAM Act not to kids in schools, but to adult inmates in jails. And when those adult inmates in these jails tell us that they went to college or they went to high school or they have a GED, we are required under the president's policies to take their word for it. No investigation, no requirement for them to provide us proof. And our, our officers and agents are then forced to let these criminals walk out of these jails solely based on their word. Chris, I'm an American citizen. And, and if I'm arrested or suspected of a crime, I can't just say, I'm a good guy, you can trust me. And, and somehow the law enforcement officers say, okay, we'll take your word for it. You really weren't speeding or you really didn't pull the trigger. This is amazing. Uh, I can understand why your agents are upset, but it is, let, let's take this to the next step. You didn't just complain. You're not just talking to me. You've sued the federal government. There's a lawsuit between your union and your bosses at the federal government, and you're asking now for what? Well, first of all, we're not asking for a penny of the taxpayers' dollars. So all we're asking for is, is one, some protection for our officers and agents. Because currently what we do uh, as an agency or what this agency does under this administration is they threaten to fire our officers and agents who attempt to enforce the laws that we have on the books. So we've got to provide some kind of protection uh, for these law enforcement officers who are only trying to do their jobs. Uh, perhaps more importantly, we're questioning the President of the United States. We're saying, President of the United States, it's your job to enforce the law 
It's Congress's job to enact the law. And so, President, you've overstepped your boundaries, um, and, and we're, we're hopeful, uh, again, that the judge is going to rule in our favor on this, because I think it's extremely important to our country and our, our, our way of government that we, we get things back on track and, and put everyone back in their prospective places and let our law enforcement officers do their jobs. Uh, Chris, very quickly, can you tell me, just so our audience will understand, there is a difference between a border patrol agent and an ICE agent. Uh, you know, in 20 seconds or less, make sure we understand the difference between the two. The Border Patrol agents stand on the border. They try to keep people out of our country. They try to protect us at the border. Once those people cross into the United States, they're the responsibility of ICE agents. ICE agents work the interior enforcement. We enforce our nation's immigration laws in 50 states, Guam and Puerto Rico. And uh, quickly, we do that with 5,000 officers and agents nationwide. Uh, you compare that to the, the, uh, the Los Angeles Police Department with 10,000 officers. Uh, we're set up for, for failure from the beginning. You know, it's a remarkable story. I, I think your story needs to be told on every network and the front page of every paper. I am amazed uh, that more people aren't listening to the frontline people who are supposed to enforce laws and are being specifically told by our own government not to do it. It is a stunning revelation. Chris Crane, thank you very much for joining us today.